Girl, I can't lie. This is the only video you ever need to watch regarding finding your personal style. First things first, you need to be realistic with yourself and analyze your life. What is it that you actually do? I feel like a lot of time people buy things because they're cute, but they don't actually have an event to actually wear their clothes to. So then the clothes that you bought just kind of accumulates in your closet and never gets worn. We want to minimize that as much as possible. That's why it's really important that you analyze your life. Like I said, what what is it that you actually do? For example, someone who works out a lot probably needs a lot of athleisure. Someone who works a nine to five in a corporate setting probably needs more blazers and slacks than someone who works from home. Analyze your lifestyle so that you can match what you wear to fit that properly. Hi guys, so I'm about to head out. I'm actually going to New York today because I have a work event to go to. So I'm gonna go to New York with my sister. We're gonna make a trip out of it and stuff. I bring my big camera with me everywhere now because I'm starting to vlog. Like, I'm pretty sure you're watching this video on a Sunday. Okay, Wednesday is when I'm gonna upload next. That's gonna be a vlog and it's gonna be so good. Like, I haven't vlogged in so long, so I'm so excited for you guys to see it and it's gonna be different from what a regular vlog is. It's gonna be different from XOXO channel. It's gonna be different from any vlog you've ever watched before. So I'm excited for you to see it. And now that I'm vlogging and posting every Wednesday, I'm bringing my big camera with me everywhere. So I have a lot of these like big satchel hobo bags with me all the time because these are really nice stylish bags that carry all my camera equipment. I kid you not, I have like five bags like this, like five bags, but I need it. It's super cute, super stylish. If I'm gonna be bringing my big DSLR everywhere I go, I'm gonna need something cute and stylish to put it in so that's why I have a lot of these but you know if you don't really like the style of bag or if you're not really like a vlogger or you're just not really carrying something heavy with you all the time you don't need a bag like this you know but since this bag fits with my lifestyle it's always with me after the life analysis, you need to do a body analysis. Everybody's body is different. And I feel like simply going off of like a body chart, for example, if you have like an apple body or a pear body or a rectangular body, that just doesn't work because our bodies are so much more complex than that. So instead of going off of a body chart and saying that you have this particular body type, try and analyze specific parts of your body rather than doing a more holistic approach. For example, for me, I have very broad shoulders. I have a little curve to my waist, not really. I have narrow hips and then I have average legs. And instead of just saying that I have a rectangular body type and going about my day, I focus on making my clothes fit an individual body part. For example, the way that I figured out that I have pretty broad shoulders is that I compared my shoulders to my hips. If my shoulders are like wider than my hips, it kind of gives the illusion of broader shoulders, which then also gives the illusion of narrow hips. And for me personally, I have a pretty small to normalish torso because if I put my hand like right under my boob, the end part of my hand hits my belly button. That's kind of like an indicator that you have a pretty small torso. If you were to do this and your pinky finger didn't hit your belly button, that's kind of an indicator that you have a kind of a longer torso. And although my hips are narrow, they're still a bit curved. So that kind of gives the illusion of a slight hourglass figure. But for me, I have a mostly athletic slim body type. I actually have a series on my Instagram that talks about like how to dress for your body type. It's a real series. I'll definitely link that for you guys so you can kind of like analyze your own body and see what kind of fits for you. I kind of want to give you guys an example on how I dress for my body type. Me wearing something like this, in my opinion, doesn't really flatter me the best. These pants, on the other hand, they're super baggy. They're actually balloon pants. And since they're so wide, the wideness of these jeans balance out the wideness of my shoulders. So it kind of just balances out my whole proportion. So if I'm going jean shopping, I'm mostly gonna gravitate towards a baggier fit. 
I know a lot of people think that finding your personal style requires you to throw away all of your old clothes, but that is probably the worst thing that you could do at this point right now. I feel like what you should do right now is go into your closet and only wear the stuff that you genuinely like. Doing this will require you to dress up every day. And if it means that you're wearing the same thing every day, then just continue wearing the same thing every day. Because once you do this, you'll have a better understanding of what is it that you actually feel comfortable wearing. And while you're doing this, make sure you take a lot of outfit photos. If you ever come across a mirror, please stop and take a little mirror selfie or a little fit check to show off the fit. Because over time, these outfits will accumulate in your photo album and now you'll have an actual visual of what you like. You'll see how many times you wore a certain pair of pants, how many times you wore a top, how many times you wore shoes. So you'll gravitate towards that for your next shopping trip. I know what you're thinking, how do I even know what I like? Trust me, you know what you like. Everything in your closet is a testament of things that you've liked before. So it's very obvious to go in there and to find something that you resonate with. It doesn't even have to be something that's out of the box, kind of like, like a very specific, unique blouse or something. It can be something as standard as a skims top or baggy jeans. So like I said, wear everything in your closet that you like now. And if it means that you have to wear it over and over again, wear it over and over again. After about a month of maybe wearing only 10 to 20% of your wardrobe, now it's time to go on a shopping trip. Notice how I said shopping trip and not shopping spree, because we're not gonna break the bank. I think going on a shopping spree very early in your personal style journey is really detrimental. It just causes you to spend a lot more than you're supposed to. And I think it's very wasteful. So honestly, I think your shopping trip should be frequent, but very small instead of one big, large shopping haul. So like I said, after about a month of wearing only a little fraction of your wardrobe and knowing exactly what you like, now I feel like it's an appropriate time to go to the store that sells basics and focus on obtaining nice basics that fit your body type. I would say a great like starter number to start at is buying two basic tops and two basic bottoms. Whether those basic tops are like skims tops or cotton tops or long sleeve, short sleeve, doesn't really matter. And to the bottoms, it can be baggy jeans, skinny jeans, slacks, doesn't really matter. Just kind of those four essential garments that you can build an outfit around. And make sure with what you wear, it fits the fit of your body. So yeah, a place where I go to kind of get basics is H&M. H&M is always like a nice store for me to go to because it's very accessible. It's really close to where I live. It's in store so I can always try on the clothes and I never have to guess. And it's pretty affordable. So I'm always an H&M girl. I'll always be an H&M girl. So that's usually where I get a lot of my basics from. I also get a lot of basics from Amazon because I have Prime. So two-day shipping is very convenient for me. And if I kind of want like higher quality basics, I'll go to Skims. But yeah, definitely I would go on a shopping trip, buy maybe like four things and continue implementing those new things I bought into my everyday style. So after you go on that shopping trip, wear more outfits that showcase what you just bought. And as you style new outfits, you'll start to realize that you're kind of missing a couple things. Only if you run into the problem multiple, multiple times when you're styling outfits, that's an indicator that you should buy it. So if you're constantly coming across the issue of, oh my gosh, this outfit would be so cute only if I had this, then that's a sign that you kind of need it. So I would definitely put it down in your notes app, things I want to buy soon, write that down. And I would say do this for about two months. And by the end of those two months, you would have accumulated a pretty lengthy list of things that you should add to your wardrobe. Hi guys, so I just woke up and I'm currently styling some outfits and they're on my rack right now, but, 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 this. These are my hats. I'm trying to have a nice headband moment with my outfit today, but I'm looking through this and I can't find a headband. Like I literally can't find a basic black headband and I'm just like, are you like actually like joking? Like I don't own a black headband. And this is the third time, the third time that I have tried to sell an outfit and I don't have a bomba cloth black headband. So I think I'm gonna go on Amazon and get like a little pack. Cause I'm just like, 
how do I not own this? This is the third time that I've run into this issue of me styling an outfit and not having a black headband. I feel like a black headband is really necessary because it's like summer and I want my hair out of my face and I just feel like it's a really cool like piece to add to any outfit to elevate it. So I'm just like, wow, I can't believe I don't have this. I need to get this. But I like how I waited the third time to actually decide and get this because I feel like if I styled one outfit and I didn't have a headband, who cares? But styling two outfits and three outfits that I thought would be better with a headband and don't have it, it's just like, okay, like this is an indicator that I need this in my wardrobe if I'm running into this problem over and over and over again. So off to buy a headband. I hosted a style mystery box giveaway in my last video, and here is the winner. Congratulations! I host style mystery box giveaways in every other video, so if you want a chance to enter, just look out for my next video. And also, while you're styling these new outfits, find inspiration in your everyday life. I know it's really easy to go to Pinterest and to get outfit inspiration from there, but honestly, I feel like Pinterest kind of makes it a little bit too easy. So like I said, find inspiration in everything that you do. In the TV shows that you watch, in the movies you watch, in the books that you read. If you go to an art museum, you may find inspiration there. You can even find outfit inspiration in architecture. Fashion is way more than just clothes. For example, for me, I think I gave this example Example in a past video of mine, but my favorite movie is Infinity War. I literally have an Infinity War poster right there. And I, unpopular opinion, but I love Thanos. <laughs> I love me some Thanos. I love me a big purple monster. And everyone knows that Thanos is very infamous for his Infinity Gauntlet. His Infinity Gauntlet was all gold with colored gems, which were the Infinity Stones. Taking inspiration from one of my favorite movies, that kind of inspired me to start wearing lots of gold jewelry, which is the reason why my fingers look like this. Lots of gold jewelry with colored gems all over. I feel like when the clothes you wear has a story unique to you, it really doesn't matter how the world perceives this. For example, I'm pretty sure wearing jewelry like this is very popular now. I feel like people are really getting into maximalist jewelry, so it is becoming a trend. But for me, this isn't a trend, this is a lifestyle. And even when this trend dies down, I'm still gonna be wearing this because the reason in which I'm wearing it is personal to me. And that's something that no one can take away from me. And I feel like when that's the basis of the clothes that you wear, you will have a steady wardrobe and you're less likely to overconsume. Cause I feel like that's the biggest problem. People think they like something, then the world tells them it's not cool like that. So then they wanna buy something else and buy something else and buy the new trending thing and just overconsume, overconsume, overconsume. And then now your closet is full of clothes that you don't even wear. And now you're trying to give it back when you really just could have made better decisions regarding the clothes that you actually bought. So yeah, definitely having a story behind the clothes you wear definitely beats overconsumption. And after about like two months, I know, very long time, two months of no shopping, you probably have a very lengthy list of clothes you wanna buy. And that is when you go thrifting. I recently made a video all about thrifting where I gave you guys all of my thrifting secrets. I'll have that linked. I feel like at this point, three months into your personal style journey, it's now time for you to go thrifting. And why say thrifting and not shopping? Because I feel like thrifting, it definitely is overwhelming. It's an overwhelming thing to do, especially when you get there, there's just so much clothes and there are no mannequins telling you how to style things and you really have to dig to find things that you like, but it's really rewarding because clothes that are thrifted are usually cheaper. And also when you shop at a thrift store, I feel like you have to have a sense of personal style in order to actually buy things that you'll wear over and over and over again. And that's why I feel like at this point, like I said, three months into this journey, you're now prepared to thrift. Thrifting is definitely challenging and overwhelming, but the payoff is so nice. Especially when you find something that you really, really like, and you find out it's only $5, so you just buy it. And then that's the thing that you wear for the next month and a half straight. It really is the best feeling. And I think once you can thrift well, that's how you know you found your personal style. So this whole thing is a three to four month process. 
And once you go thrifty, you'll add more and more to your closet and you'll start noticing that you're starting to wear a lot more of your newer clothes and not your older clothes. And once you hit around month six of you finding your personal style, then that is a time where you clean out your closet because now you know what clothes you're wearing over and over again. And you're now most likely wearing the clothes you recently bought rather than the clothes that's been sitting in your closet for months. So yeah, I definitely around the five, six mark is where you should clean out your closet, take away things you don't like because now you're for sure for certain that you don't resonate with these clothes anymore. For me, whenever I'm giving away my clothes, I just go to Goodwill. I either try and sell it off Depop, or if I can't sell it off Depop, I'll just give it to Goodwill. I tried going to resellers to kind of sell my clothes. Oh my God, like you'll get nothing. Like you'll get absolutely nothing. So like, don't even try that. <laughs> okay, hopefully after watching this video, you develop an insane, crazy sense of style. And I actually really, really, really want to see it. So if you find this video useful and you use any of my techniques and you take any of the advice that I give you, please like DM me like a picture of like your most recent outfit. Like I would love to see it. <laughs> I really would. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs down and make sure you tell me what you don't like about this video so that I can improve it for future videos. All right guys, I'll see you later. Bye.